the amount of people that fits um, Dodger Stadium, we already sold that out already. So what does that make you feel like? Like, you, obviously, where you're at now in life, to be able to still do that, I mean, that's pretty crazy. Me feel like I, need, I have to perform. It gives me all the inspiration to let me know, boy, you better perform tonight. It's time to perform. How has training changed from the young Mike Tyson to the guy that he stood right in front of me ready to perform on November 15th? It haven't changed too much. The only thing that I get more massages now. <laughs> on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I box eight, I, I box, no, it was yeah, Monday and Tuesday, I box eight rounds. Every day I box eight rounds, three minute rounds. Are you bringing in specific sparring partners for, for this one? Um, guys that emulate Jake, I bring some big, strong guys in too to help me push some guys around, fight them. I got I got a lot of movers, and I got a couple of big guys just to pretty much go head to head with. What do you make of Jake Paul as a boxer? Uh, he's he's a good little fighter, you know, but he only has ten fights. You, that's you're considered, that's considered an amateur in our field. A novice boxer, absolutely. And with that in mind, I mean, you are famous for saying that everybody has a plan until they get punched in the mouth. What are you anticipating when you punch I, this young man in the mouth? I see him running around. I have to catch him and slaughter him. Mike's message to Jake is crystal clear. With the fight just days away, Tyson issued a chilling warning to Jake Paul. I'll slaughter him. There's no doubt the deadly seriousness behind those words. And Tyson isn't just talking, his training speaks volumes. Each punch, every intense movement signals pure intent. This isn't just about getting physically ready. It's a statement to Jake and everyone watching. Tyson's letting the world know he's prepared to follow through on every word. <laughs> Mike's fierce dedication is undeniable, and boxing legend Gene Kilroy backs it up. Kilroy underlined just how ready Mike is, amplifying the weight of what this fight means to him. Tyson isn't stepping into the ring just to compete. He's entering to make a statement to prove a point that's bigger than ever. This is the strongest I've ever seen you. Yeah? Yeah, the strongest I've ever, and I know you since you're 13. I think this is so, this impressed the shit out of me. Nothing impresses me. You know, I'm gonna tell you the truth, I don't lie. I was worried about him traveling here, traveling there, he's not getting, I, I can sleep now at night. Gene Kilroy admired Mike's unbreakable drive and relentless dedication. Every move in his training shows he's pushing himself harder than ever, aiming to prove something far beyond a simple victory. Day three, you still wanna f with me? Different day, same fate. I'm gonna knock out Jake Paul. Mike Tyson once again warned Jake Paul to step backward if he wants to stay alive. Otherwise, November 15th, 2024 will be the last day of Jake Paul. Because he he's one of the guys that paved the way for me to be where I'm at. You know, he's a legendary champion. And the only thing I have to say about Mike Tyson is everyone is always trying to judge Mike Tyson. He lived his life the way he wanted to live his life. No one can say how what they would have done if they were in his shoes. Professional boxer Floyd Mayweather Jr. admires Mike Tyson as a legendary champion who paved the way for future fighters. He said Tyson lived life on his own terms, facing unique struggles, and suggests that people shouldn't judge Tyson's choices without understanding his experiences. It's a reminder to respect Tyson's legacy without quick judgment. Jake Paul has got to condition himself for the actual sentence, I'm going to fight Mike Tyson, right? Because there's, the, you disarm yourself when you say that. If you said it to yourself in a mirror and you were like, yo, I'm Mike Tyson, <laughs> you instantly become a skinny, starving kid, just mentality-wise, right? And then you train and you get ready 
<laughs> but who are you getting ready to fight again? Mike Tyson. So every time you say... Many boxing analysts are warning Jake Paul he needs to mentally prepare carefully if he's going to fight Mike Tyson. As he is continuously saying, I'm going to fight Mike Tyson, repeatedly can psychologically weaken him, making him feel like a starving kid against a legend. Instead, the advice is to simply say he's preparing for a fight without mentioning Tyson's name to avoid intimidating himself. This mindset shift can help Jake stay confident and focused during training. Tyson's mind has switched over into war. Like he was doing this interview, someone said to him, you look like you're in your 20s, like what are you doing? He goes, I just eat raw meat. What are you eating? Raw meat. Uh, he, I'm gonna have to eat it now because my opponent's gonna be raw meat. He's like, Jesus Christ, <laughs> he's in this mode. He's in savage mode. I w if I was Jake Paul right now, I would be my pants. Oh bro, if, I saw, if I'm fighting this guy and I see he's ro eating raw meat, I call the off. It's all the experiences that he has had as a conqueror. When a man has smashed men. The highly anticipated upcoming boxing match between Mike Tyson and Jake Paul is in debate everywhere. Meanwhile, American podcaster Joe Rogan also advised Jake Paul that he needs to mentally prepare for fighting a legendary figure like Tyson, who, at 57, still has impressive speed and power. He also marks the importance of not showing fear in the ring by referencing Evander Holyfield's approach when facing Tyson. Tyson remains a formidable opponent, making this match highly anticipated. People mocked me when I was saying that before, but now I think people are coming around. And the way I look at it, I say, if this kid was not a YouTuber, if he wasn't some guy that you knew from the time he was like 16 years old on YouTube and you just saw him box and you saw him knock out former UFC champions, you saw him beat legitimate boxers or beat athletes and beat a bunch of MMA fighters, you'd go, this kid can fight. He knows how to fight. Like it's not, it's not, nothing he's doing looks wrong. He's not like sticking his head straight up in the air and winging punches with his eyes closed. He's fighting well. Joe Rogan called Jake Paul a legitimate boxer despite initial mistrust. He pointed out that if Paul wasn't a former YouTuber and had simply been seen knocking out fighters, people would recognize his skills more readily. He also admired Paul fights well and has shown the ability to defeat experienced athletes, including former UFC champions. Good, and if he was just an up and coming boxer, that was this exciting, like highly promotable, like really good at selling fights. He'd be like, this kid's the future. Mm -hmm. He's really something special. And the fact that he's willing to fight Tyson, even if Tyson's 57, just the fact that he's willing to actually take a chance at Mike Tyson not being able to do what he used to do. Rogan also admires Paul's choice and willingness to face Mike Tyson, even at Tyson's age of 57, highlighting that this willingness to take risks shows confidence. However, Rogan acknowledged the younger Tyson would be a much tougher opponent referencing Tyson's impressive early career, particularly his fight against Marvis Frazier. Joe Rogan believes that Paul's boxing skills and willingness to challenge legends are commendable. But what happens when I put this man to sleep? This Jake Paul confidently addresses the upcoming fight with Mike Tyson, downplaying Tyson's harsh comments about the match. Although Jake respects Tyson, but asserts that their friendship is on hold until after the fight. Jake is determined to prove himself, having a strong desire to knock out Tyson and suggesting a dramatic confrontation. His language reflects the competitive atmosphere leading up to the match, highlighting the high stakes and tension involved. The upcoming match between Mike Tyson and Jake Paul is generating excitement worldwide. Tyson's dedication to training and Paul's confidence create a thrilling clash of experience and youthful ambition that will make this fight one that fans can't wait to see. I don't know if he's in his prime, he's fat. I'm not fat. He should be lean and mean, he's fat and funky. I saw he's heavyweight. Him those days. He's fat. I don't know if he's in his prime, he's fat. He should be lean and mean, he's fat and funky. I saw him with his shirt up though, he's fat. 
After Mike Tyson hilariously called Jake Paul fat and funky, Jake replied tie-in while eating KFC and said he is not fat. While calling Jake overweight and fat, Tyson again warned Jake Paul he is not strong and is in a condition to fight him. But Tyson believes he is confident in his own fitness and readiness for the fight, contrasting it with the perceived lack of preparation of their opponent. <laughs> They're not real fighters, they're exciting fighters. I don't wanna fight them, man. Okay. It would be a big knockout though. I know, but I fight I fight real fighters. Oh. I fight fighters that hurt big, strong, scary men. Mike Tyson reveals he always prefers to face genuinely tough opponents rather than seeking easy knockouts. They acknowledge that while a big knockout might be thrilling, their focus is on fighting real fighters, those who are strong and intimidating. This highlights their desire to compete at a high level and face formidable challenges in the ring. <laughs> The highly anticipated showdown between the two fighters is scheduled for Friday, November 15th in Arlington, Texas at the iconic AT&T Stadium, where up to 90,000 passionate fans are expected to witness the action. This clash promises to be a monumental event as Iron Mike Tyson steps back into the ring for the first time since his professional loss to Kevin McBride in 2005. Tyson's most recent bout was an exhibition match against fellow boxing legend Roy Jones Jr. in 2020, but this upcoming fight Fight marks his return to the spotlight. Doing good, man. For a guy that just he's just doing it, and you know this is good. And he's doing and he's he's doing so much good for boxing. This is listen. This guy got 70, 70 uh, million people following him every time he fights. Right. Yeah. Have, the champions in the world don't have that many people following them. So what he's doing to boxing is just sensational. No one should be hating on that. They should just care. Let's just fight him. He's helping everybody get money. So why are people mad at him? So that's something you might be interested in. Is everything possible? Yeah. But gotta happen this year. Gotta happen this year. And then if you beat him, will you beat other YouTubers? Will you go after, I don't know, like Mr. Beast or, uh, you know? There's a big possibility I might be the YouTube champion. You might be the YouTube champion. I'm, I'm gonna create, create a YouTube championship and Ooh, perhaps. that's a great idea. Get all the YouTubers to get, plus myself, and we all fight each other. I like that. I like that idea a lot. Well, it's great to see you. Thank Always. you for coming. Always a pleasure. Thank you for being our spelling bee. Uh, the Tyson 2.0. His products are out now, and Mike's podcast is called Hot Keeping the rivalry side, Mike Tyson admires Jake Paul's skills. Tyson recognizes Paul's dedication to the sport and his ability to compete at a high level, highlighting the respect that can exist even amidst competition. Tyson respects Paul as a legitimate fighter who has worked hard to hone his craft. Listen, I started Jake off and I'm gonna finish him. Just come to the fight and you'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Day three, you still want to with me? Tyson in his prime, where he was terrifying. He was so fast, and he would do angles, and he was bobbing and weaving. You couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> The fight is not just about the rivalry, it's also a clash of generations and styles. Tyson's seasoned expertise will be pitted against Paul's youthful tenacity and modern boxing strategies. Fans are eagerly anticipating what promises to be an unforgettable night of boxing. Meanwhile, this clash of styles and backgrounds sets the stage for a fight that could unfold in numerous ways. Tyson's power and strategic mindset may clash with Paul's modern training techniques and confidence, leading to unpredictable outcomes. Got, uh, what do you think about Mike Tyson in the Jake Paul fight? I know you're going to be there. It's in Ag, it's in the Ag Town, Arlington, right there. I know you're going to be there in uh, Jerry Sweet, you know? Say, man, and my nigga, um, they, my nigga uh, Shannon Briggs and Rampage trying to get on that card. They probably be fighting each other. Okay. Oh, uh, so if that happened, yeah, I'm gonna be there. I'm gonna walk them out. I'm gonna walk Shannon Briggs out if, if him and Rampage fight each other uh, on the undercard. Okay. All right. But if my nigga Champ ain't on the undercard, Mike Tyson and that uh, prepped up white boy. That white boy ain't tough. 
In a conversation about the upcoming fight between Mike Tyson and Jake Paul, there's a clear excitement surrounding the event boxing analysts mentioned their anticipation for the fight and their plans to attend, potentially supporting Shannon Briggs, who might be fighting Rampage Jackson on the undercard. Pros show confidence in Tyson's abilities while downplaying Jake Paul, calling him a prepped up white boy, but they believe Jake lacks toughness. This shows the mixed feelings about Paul's credibility as a boxer compared to Tyson's legendary status. It's so sad that Mike Tyson has got to do this fight. This is what I wrote on Instagram and someone commented saying he doesn't have to do it, he's choosing to do it. And then I thought, you know, you're right, he is choosing to do it, but why is he choosing to do it? Well, he's doing it for one reason and one reason only, and that is the money. He's He's getting paid so much money to do this. So that tells me he's getting bought. So again, it is sad that someone like Mike Tyson can get bought because this guy is an absolute legend. He shouldn't be able to get bought. British former professional boxer Tony Jeffries expressed a deep concern for Mike Tyson's decision to take part in a high profile fight at 57 years old. The initial post suggests sadness over Tyson needing to fight, but Tony points out that it's his choice. However, the underlying question remains, why would a legend like Tyson choose to fight at this stage in his life? The answer seems to be financial gain, as he's reportedly being paid a significant amount for the fight. This leads to a discussion about the implications of being bought for a match, especially for someone of Tyson's stature. Tony criticized Tyson, saying that, at his age, he should be enjoying retirement rather than risking his health for money. He's 57 years old, he needs to be enjoying retirement. Now I don't think that I've got the wealth that Mike Tyson's got, but if someone offered me $20 million to fight Jake Paul, I would say no, because I care too too much about me brain health, about me children, about me family, where it seems like he is being bored and I'm not trying to disrespect the man. I absolutely love the man. It's just so bloody sad. Tony Jeffries further criticized that this fight should not happen, stating they would turn down a substantial financial offer to protect their well-being and family. This perspective highlights a broader concern about the pressure on athletes, especially icons like Tyson, to engage in fights for financial reasons, even when it may not be in their best interest. It's a sad reflection on the complexities of fame, health, and financial necessity in the world of boxing. Yeah, if Tyson wants to get in the ring, I'm down, and he does, so here we are. He's one of the baddest men on the planet, and, you know, if he wants that opportunity and that smoke, he's he's the one who is like, let's make this a pro fight. I'm going to end you, and I'm ready for it, and I'm excited for it, and he's a beast. It's Very amazing. dangerous. August, I'm back, baby. Jake Paul expressed his eagerness to face Mike Tyson and called Tyson as one of the toughest fighters ever. He acknowledges Tyson's willingness to turn their match into a professional fight and appreciates Tyson's confidence and determination. Paul conveys his readiness for the challenge as he has recognized the danger Tyson presents while also expressing excitement for the showdown. What, uh, what kind of mindset do you take uh, into this fight? Um, bad intentions. <laughs> <laughs> when you look at Jake Paul, and I don't know as much about Jake Paul as I know about you. Everybody's very familiar with the Mike Tyson story. Do um, you think he's a legitimate boxer? Well, he can fight, yeah. For, for boxers his level, yes. Tyson said he would enter the ring with bad intentions. This sets a fierce tone for his upcoming bout. When fighters mention stepping into the ring with a purpose like this, it typically signals a more aggressive, focused approach. But he further said Jake Paul is a good fighter and he has the ability to fight me. That's why he has chosen Jake Paul. He has mentioned that Jake Paul has the skill and ability to be a worthy opponent. It's a surprising endorsement from Tyson's side. In a bizarre twist, YouTuber turned boxer Jake Paul has been tipped by a cow to triumph over Mike Tyson in their upcoming heavyweight bout. With the controversial clash just over two weeks away, both Paul and Tyson are deep into their final training preparations. British heavyweight Joe Joyce seems to be backing Tyson as he exclaimed, Let's go, Mike! Paul also responded to the video that displays Tyson training with weights, commenting a fair play, Mike. You look incredible, Hulk, but I'm still you up in 20 days. Tyson, who hasn't fought professionally since his 2005 defeat to Kevin McBride, did step back into the ring four years ago for an exhibition match against Roy Jones Jr. Meanwhile, Paul, who is 31 years younger than Tyson, has been consistently active since his debut four years ago. Fear is like fire. If not controlled, it could burn down everything around you. But if used properly, 
it can fuel you to reach your highest potential. My mentor, Custom Model, told me the only thing that separates the hero from being a coward is what the hero does that makes him the hero, and what the coward doesn't do that makes him the coward. They both have fear, but with this fear, something is ignited in the hero. When fear challenges you, what will you do? <laughs> Well, clearly they don't have a high IQ in here, but that's a federal crime, Brian. Mike, there are a number of people who also say Mike Tyson is risking serious injury against a powerful 27-year-old who is in his prime. Mike Tyson stated, I started Jake off and I'm going to finish him. He believes his confidence and determination to bring this fight full circle. Tyson seems to see himself as a mentor turned challenger, hinting at his role in inspiring or influencing Jake's entry into the boxing world. Now with the match set, Tyson appears ready to show Jake his true capabilities, expressing a personal stake in the fight that adds an edge of intensity to their rivalry. Mike Tyson and Jake Paul's showdown promises to be a clash of intensity and skill, with Tyson's latest message adding fuel to the fire. But do you think Jake Paul has what it takes to handle a legendary fighter like Mike Tyson in the ring? Why or why not? Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay in the ring with us. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.